Hello, my name's Dr. Simon Curtis. I'm here at Barrier Focus, which is the biggest barrier event in Europe now. We're expecting 900 barriers here over the next two days, maybe more. Behind me, the, comp the competitors are just practicing, so the competition hasn't started, they're just warming up. But we're going to go and have a look at the rest of the setting up. As you can see, some of the companies have now arrived. This is the day before the main event, but they're starting to set up. There's vans everywhere, horseshoes, rasps, nails, equipment strewn all over the place. But by tomorrow, it should all be in order, and we'll better have a walk around and see what things look like then. Okay, Tim, so Timmy Fuggle, you are the right-hand man for handmade shoes. Bless you, so they say. And you're here at the biggest uh, farrier event in Europe. Yep. So tell me, what's the hardest thing with, with running a big trade show stand like this? Um, probably just getting the level of products here. I mean, we try and bring just about everything we have, because obviously you're handmade, you know, it's everything you need. Um, but yeah, also, nice line, nice yeah, line. Yeah, and it's, um, and it's just sort of, because it's a big trade show, but it's also a big, you know, sort of meeting up place for all the yeah. barriers in the, in the country. You know, to me, Stone is infamous. You know, famous, famous, famous place. Uh, Very famous place. Um, but, you know, it's, we want to make it a good So what's the draw the here? Have you got any specials on? Yeah, we've got lots of specials on. Uh, Don't go wandering some, off. We can't some, move the... Uh, new um, McDonald tools. Uh, new what? Rodolfo hamburgers? Tools. hamburgers. Yeah. So new Rodolfo tools, new um, Atkinson. We've got some beanie, you know, lovely new beanie tools He has his well. flatter now, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's got, he got that. sand and all those. There's always a new gizmo, so, isn't yeah, there? So each uh, exclusives have got new tools yeah. out. So, and we've brought them here this weekend to, you know, show off to their best. Yeah, um, of course, you know, and you've got, thing, really. you've got this vast stand. Anyway, yeah. we're going to be away Good around for a couple of days. No problem. I'll let you get back to setting up. Wicked. All, All right, right, mate. for being seen. All right. All right. We're here in the trade show area, which is actually pretty big, but right in the middle of it, there is the Gas Forge uh, competition area, because part of the Stonely competition is the teams forging out of gas, not just the Coke forgers. Okay, Danny, so you're in charge of this part of the competition, aren't you? Yeah. So the gas, all the gas competition is here. Yeah. So what is your, what is your biggest problems of organising this? The main problem with the gas, certainly for the team classes, is they're only allowed two team members on the floor at any one time. So one's got to leave before another one can come in and the shoes can't leave. Is this tag shoe making? It pretty much is, yeah. How, it's, how it's do you tag, regulate that? It's a tag team event. A tag team event. There you so, go. Well, it's but, great. Yeah, and that's also so for the seniors tomorrow and the apprentices on the Sunday, and then also tomorrow we've got the reserve class. Which okay. Is an individual just yeah. The just, substitute. Yeah, it's, it's for them to have some. You know, some of them travelled halfway around the world. Gives them something to do. Yeah. Well, it's great. Anyway, Thanks. best of luck. I'm going to come in here and take a few more pictures and uh, bring beer. Very professionally said, mate. Right. Let's let you get off. All right, Kelvin, how are you, mate? Good to see you. Excited. Yeah, no, it's great. So uh, this isn't exactly a new venture for you, but your no. shoes have changed name, haven't they? Yes. So what's the name of your new shoes? We've got the uh, More Sport. More Sport, More, more Forge. More Forge, More Turf, More Drive. Turf spent, spelt with two Fs, is that bad sign writing or is that deliberate? <laughs> That's deliberate. Okay, always have to check these yeah. things. Anyway, what's the, what is the most difficult thing about running a trade stand at a show like this? getting everything where you want it to be in time yeah. for the open doors. Have you got some more stuff to come in? Yes, wait for it now. Okay, so it's not here yet. <laughs> no. All right, well, we're going to leave you to okay. carry on setting up. No problem. All right, mate. We'll, Thank you. We'll be around to see you again. Thank you. All right, Kelvin. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, Jeff, we're in the Pro Glue stand. Yes. A bit small, isn't it? It's tiny, but you know what they say? Small Size, is better. Well, they Size isn't, isn't everything. <laughs> anyway, you, you've got your, your company here. You're at this wonderful event. Uh, what is the, what's the biggest challenge for you here? Biggest challenge for me here is simply moving guys from using glues as last resort to first resort. Yeah. And that's just the difference between our left ear and right ear. That's just a, th a thought process. So farriers, if all else fails, we'll use some glue. Yeah. And it's like you don't have to wait till all else fails. Use it first. Depends how much money you've got, Jeff. That's 
not our consideration. No, it's not our but it sometimes is the horse owners. That's, that's a fiscal problem, not a farrowy problem. And we need to define the difference. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fair enough. But we live in the real world where most people are not prepared to pay for their horses to have glue shoes on. That might be true in some worlds. Tell me the worlds it's not true in. The worlds it's not Mars? true in is the area of... So you can see behind me the tented village where all the trade stands are going to be. It'll be the biggest trade show in Europe ever. And you can only see the tops of the tents, but inside there a lot of the guys have set up. But tomorrow when it's busier, we'll go back round there, we'll pick up on a few of the trade stands, we'll find a few of the well-known guys to have a chat with. So the competitors have turned up, it's only seven in the morning. The first round's gonna start soon. They've done the, the trot up to check the horses are sound. Uh, half the teams have arrived and they will start any minute. So I'm not using wearing my usual blue shirt. I'm wearing this purple one. And that's because that gives me access onto the floor. Uh, you can see other stewards in there wearing the purple uh, polo shirts. So I am part of the Purple Army. Marked the written papers, and it was the best set of written papers I've seen. So the examiners were rubbing their hands together and hoping for a good day on the practical side. And it was awful. Okay, Joseph. Joseph Luba, how are you? Thanks, so, thank you. So you've come here from Germany to this yeah. event. Second time. Second Last time. was first time. And what do you think to this event? Yeah, it's fantastic, yeah. especially I mean, if you have sunshine. I met a lot of farriers, yeah. good farriers, and yeah, I just can say uh, European farriers should come over to Stoney. Well, next year. I think that's the next thing that this organization should yeah. do, is to yeah. try and get them here. Yeah, because it's very, very nice. Now, Joseph, I've known for many years, and Joseph is an event, in, inventor and a developer. Hoof pads, first of all, wonderful knives. But let's see what you've got in this box, Joseph. Yep. <laughs> all right. Oh, just an old pair of nippers. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Is that as titanium? Titanium. Is, is that five? Is that cheaper than steel? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, a little bit more expensive. Is it? Yeah. Is so it? tell me. Oh, I could quite do with a pair of but these. What? What can I? Um, cut, what do I have to pay he for? Cuts very nicely. You save time. You save for us. It's very accurate. Yeah. Yeah, quite right. I haven't drawn blood. Oh. Yeah. And? Yeah. Hold it, please. We're not doing a whole demonstration here, Joseph. Nope. This is a one minute. And it's oh, awesome. no, don't do that. He's cutting the nose. Joseph. And it's not right. So I've cut my nails, and now we've cut horseshoe yeah. nails. <laughs> yep. Anyway, marvellous. Thank you for showing us that. What is the price? Seven. 80. Okay, I'll have three pairs, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we talking euros or pounds? So what is that, 900 euros? No, 810. Okay, well the pound's not doing well. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks thank for you. that. <laughs> so, you two lads are apprentices. Yeah, that's right. Tell the camera who you are. Uh, I'm Henry Carnell. I was Simon's apprentice and now work for James Coburn in Newmarket. All right, we don't want your life story. And you? Sam Wollen worked for Four Horner. Okay, so you're down Bristol Way, aren't you? Right, you're yeah. Bristol yeah. Way. All right. Set, yeah. So what do you think to this event? Oh, it's fabulous. I love going to Fire Focus. It's perfect. You get to see all the latest and greatest of things coming in the farrier world. You get to learn lots of things, listening to speeches, watching the latest and greatest of farriers doing their thing. I, I love going to Fire Focus. You should be doing my job. That was a good spiel. Henry, what do you enjoy about it? Yeah, it's good fun. You see, like Sam says, you see all the lights and great new things that are on the market. You get to see all your old mates and whatever. A good bit of competing. It's all a good laugh. And how much did it cost you? 
Nothing. It's free for BFBA. Nothing. BFBA How good's that? Okay. Thanks, lads. No worries, Sam. Danny. Yes. How long have you been coming here to Farrier Focus? Uh, All right. It's obviously taxed you no, too much. No, taxed me too much. I've had a beer. Uh, about five years, I think. Five years. Yes. And what do you think to the event this weekend? Unreal. It's Unreal. Absolutely ram packed, isn't it? Yeah. Unreal. So, business been good? Start out, it was sold a hell of a lot. So, we're, now, we're do you, well just happy. remind me, what is your business? Um, it's still back. T shirts? Yeah. Oh, okay. T shirts. Chaps. Just apparel, really. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah. Apparel? Where. Yeah. Okay. It's got a new line of jackets out, which is pretty cool. Hey, this is an interview, not an advert, mate. I know, anyway. but you asked me why I'd sell. I know. So. <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks for your time. Well, thanks for coming in. No, no, it's always great to speak to you, mate. So, uh, are either you two farriers? No, not, I'm afraid. Why, why are you here, then? Uh, so we're here as part of the Horse Trust charity yeah. and we did the launch of the biosecurity video that we produced alongside Stronghold. I went in and watched that, very that good. And you madam? Well, yeah, also here to help launch for the Horse Trust and Strong Tame the biosecurity package because we think barriers are uniquely placed to help owners suppress an outbreak of any disease in their area. Are they the ones um, that spread the disease? No, any equine professional could do it. Members of the public can do it. Owners can do it. But no, no, but I'm saying could lead the way. I'm saying farriers going in and out of yards, dirty hoof knives, treading could, in the horse mark, going could, to the next yard. But anyone could is our Poor point. Poor hygiene. We think, we think that farriers so regularly going onto the same yards and having yeah. good relationships with owners means they can lead the way in improving how everyone behaves yard to yard. Okay. Well, maybe we'll catch up with you next year and you can tell us how it's working. Yes, eh? we will. Absolutely. Thank you very much for your time. You're Thank welcome. You. If you've enjoyed this video, then please click like. Uh, you definitely want to share it. Don't be greedy. Share it with your friends. And please subscribe and then you won't miss the next one.